Alright, this is one of the question actually. Uh, one of my student actually asked me in my group, so I decided to like make one video to explain about this one. Okay, basically this is like from five first chapters and the progression. Alright, so uh, the reason I explain this question, maybe this question is quite hard or quite difficult for some of the student. Alright, so I going to like go go to this question and like explain to you how to solve it all right so first okay first when you see three five seven over here okay this series you must able to analyze whether this series is a geometric progression or arithmetic progression all right so we have the series like okay we have the series right this is three five and seven all right so in order to decide whether this is arithmetic or pro uh, arithmetic progression or geometric progression we see they are different right so the different over here obviously is plus two and this one over here is plus two as well so since the different is plus two so we know this one is arithmetic progression so, okay so in short for most of us actually call it AP alright so if this is AP alright so what is the A the A over here we know A equals to first term first term is 3 Okay, D is a different. Normally, we will use a second term minus first term or the third term minus second term. So it's like 5 minus 3. You will got D equals to 2. Okay, all right. This is the information so far we have. All right, then the question says find the sum from the Tn to T2n in term of n. All right, this is the confusing part. A lot of students, when they see Tn to T2n, they refuse. Uh, very panics like how to solve this kind of question so basically in order to make you uh, understand this kind of question easily I trying to put some example here for example maybe I let n equals to 2 then uh, into into this process then we will see what is the meaning for sum from tn to t to n alright so the first thing is Okay, when n equals to 2 mean actually the question 1 sum from sum from t2 to t2 2 2 2, two will equals to 4 Alright, that means sum from t2 to t4 We know this is actually t2 plus t3 plus t4 Isn't it? Isn't it? So this, this one is ver very easy and Then because you know t2 is a second term will be 5 plus uh, the, the third term will be 7 the next term obviously we know is 9 then you will know this one actually is 21 of course this one is just an example because at the end we do not know why it's n and then he also asks your answer must in term of n however from this ex example actually we know some things is something like this alright sim the question asks sum from so if I want to find like T2, T3, T4, uh, sum of T2, T3, and T4. Actually, I got another method to find this one, sum from T2 to T4. Actually, what I can do over here is I can sum of the first four term, means from T1, sum until T4, and then I minus sum of the first term. Alright, mean I minus the first term. Alright, because over here you will get okay, this one is like from T1 to T4, isn't it? This one is T1. So end up you will got T2, T3, T4. Alright. Okay, I want to see whether this one can apply to all or not. Alright, so I'm going to change change something. Alright. For example, okay, let me erase this one. I just randomly give another example. Okay. For example, when n equals to 5. Then this one will mean sum from T5 to T10. Okay, that means T5, uh, sum from T5 to T10 means sum of the 5th term to the 10th term will be T6, T5, T6, T7, T8, and T9, and plus T10. Alright, so I actually can use sum of first 10th term minus sum of first 4th term. Because this one, I will get whatever we want here. Isn't it? So sum of first term term means from 1 plus until 10 and then this one is like 
I'm uh, one to four. So one to ten. Okay, just randomly one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right. Let's say we have something like this. All right, and then I minus one, two, three, four. So I cut all this. I cut all this. I still have five to ten, isn't it? So this is what the question one sum from t five to t ten. Therefore, I know this this method is going to work. Okay, but how I write this method in n term? Okay, this is something very crucial. So, so that means what I know from here is, okay, ten actually is like two n, isn't it? So I will write sum of two n minus sum of four. If n equals to five, I want to get four over here. Is n minus one. All right. So means whatever this is two n, I just sum until here. Let's say two m after you multiply, you got hundred. Then I just sum of one hundred minus. If two n is hundred, obviously this is fifty, right? So. This one will be un oh sorry this is n minus one not n minus five sorry, all right so will be sum of n minus one, so this is something you must able to write out in order to solve this question, all right this is something you must able to write out in order to solve this question, so all right. Okay, and then you also need to understand why I use n minus one and why I use two n over here. Because sum of 2n is like sum from first n until 2n term. Because we do not know why it's 2n. Alright, if you can understand this one, yes, you can get the answer easily. Okay, so what is the formula for sum of n? Sum of n, the formula is n over 2, and then bracket 2a plus n minus 1 d. Alright, this is the formula for like uh, sum of first n term. Alright, so... If you understand about this one, then we're going to move on. To I'll try to apply this one. So first, I will do something. I will do whatever the question, the question one together. So first thing, I will going to write copy whatever on the top. S two n minus s n minus one. All right, n minus one is yeah for n turn minus one. All right, then s two n means whatever my n now actually change to two n. So this one called 2n over 2. And then I have a. My a is 3, right? So it's 2, 3. Okay, plus n minus 1d. Plus my n is 2n minus 1d. What's my d? My d is 2. All right. And then I minus this one. Okay, this one must be careful. Okay, I minus. Let me put a big bracket. Now my n is n minus 1. So whatever n here, I have to change to n minus one. So I call it n minus one over two. Same, and then I have two a over here. Oops. Okay, let me write again. N minus one over two, and then okay, I have two a. So it'll be two, three, plus n minus one d. Why is my n? My n is n minus one over here. So here actually is n minus one minus 1 again and then multiple 2 because our d is 2 all right as long as you can solve this one i believe you can easily get the correct answer in term of n all right so let me like just simplify all right and then this n so over here we have 6 all right plus this one is actually is multiple 2 for both so this is like 4n minus 2 all right and then minus Okay, this one. Let me solve whatever over here first. So this one is 6. n minus 1 and n minus 1 this is n minus 2. And then multiple 2 again. Alright, so I will got something like this. Alright, let me write here. This is n minus 1 over 2. And then I put a bracket over here. This is 6 plus. Okay, n minus 2 multiple 2 again. So I will have 2n minus 4. Alright. Then I simplify again. This one is n. Okay, 6 minus 2 is 4 plus 4n. Alright, and then I minus again. This one, okay, I simplify whatever inside first. This one I will have 2 plus 2n. 2 plus 2n. So 2 plus 2n divided by 2. 
So I will got n minus 1 over 2. So I'm going to factorize this 2 plus 2n. I got 2, 1 plus n. Because I want to simplify with 2. Alright. Then, last step. So I will get 4 plus 4n. Uh -huh. And then minus this one. n minus 1 multiple n plus 1 mean 1 plus n and n plus 1 it will equals to n square minus 1 square all right this is the formula like a square minus b square you will got a plus b oops a plus b multiple a minus b all right this is some uh, formula you should learn in form 3 all right let me continue so i just multiply my n into that lah. so it is 4n plus 4n square and then minus n square plus 1. Alright, so this one will be your final answer. Oops. So your final answer will be 4n square minus n square. You will have 3n square plus 4n plus 1. This is your final answer in term of n. Yes. However, we're going to like see that whether this, uh, this n term is correct or not. So I will let something like, okay, I will let n equals to 3. Then we will see some something. Alright, so the question says sum from uh, Tn to T2n, isn't it? So from here, I want sum from uh, Tn to T2n. So I'm going to like, when n equals to 3, this one means sum from T3 to T6. That means it's like, I have to T3 plus T4 plus T5 plus t6 isn't it three four five six so i trying to plus everything and let's see whether it's correct or not so let me see okay what is my third term is seven all right so this one will be seven plus nine plus eleven plus thirteen all right then we plus together we will got twenty and twenty we got forty all right then i'm going to see oops I'm going to see whether this one is correct or not. Okay, 40. So over here, can I use this formula and get 40? So let me substitute n equals to 3 into this formula. If I can get 40, mean actually this n term is correct. So I got 3, 3 square plus 4, 3 plus 1. Alright, so this one is 9, this 27 plus 12 plus 1. I will get 40. So that means this formula is correct. Alright. Yeah, this question is slightly complicated. Is you are not familiar with what is the meaning for n. Alright. However, I hope my example and my explanation actually can help you like understand bet better in for this kind of question. Alright. Anyways, if you got any question you can't understand or anything, just post post me the comment or maybe I will try to make another videos to like make you understand better for this question. Right, anyways, thanks for watching.